Um, let's let's deal with tropical system right now. What I have here are composite reflectivity from some of the um, high-res member, high-res uh, guidance sets and overlaid with UH to kind of depict what is the aerial coverage of our, our threat. Um, so what I want to do actually is probably pull up um, track guidance or track forecast, I should say, from the Hurricane Center and um, make sure that our five area really encompasses the northeast. So northeast quadrant and then a bit into the northwest. So 12Z to 12Z. So this is pretty much the track through our forecast period. And so I'm going to want to, based on the latest information from NHC, bring it all the way up to that general point and then accounting for the fact that we're going to have a northeast quadrant, a lot of theta E spreading inland, I want to go to the north a bit. So bringing marginal in and then tapering it down along the coast like this. So now we're going to line this up with some of the uh, high-res guidance. And looking at 12Z, this is the NAM. You can see UH tracks with these feeder bands depicted well by this updated five areas, kind of reinvigorating near the, the system center. UH tracks all the way north. I don't know if I want to go that far north, all the way into northeast Texas. Um, it's, a, it's large wind radii, but um, we're going to maybe play it a little bit conservatively. So here we have our, our marginal area. So we'll go with that for our marginal depiction, which we'll convert over slightly uh, shortly. Um, for the slight area, I'm going to parallel our updated marginal and based on this guidance, going to give a little bit more room in southeast Texas. So I'm going to pretty much nudge this north a bit. Yeah, I'm going to be conservative with how far we go inland right now with the slight. We'll have the marginal go farther inland. That'll be an important aspect as we begin to have potential for breaks within the broader precipitation or denser precipitation cloud canopy eventually come in. And so we'll go more to the Sabine Valley region over here. So that'll be kind of an updated slight area over here. I'll have the surrounding marginal. So we'll handle this. So it'll look something like this, marginal and then slight. Last but not least, we're going to use the, uh, make some adjustments to the general thunder, um, which is going to surround everything. We'll have the, use the Schreff calibrated thunder guidance, kind of, which takes into account um, cloud thunder physics parameter, looking at cape layers expending, extending deep enough into, um, or cape expanding, extending deep enough into icing layers aloft for charge separation, that is, equilibrium level temperatures that are colder than minus 20 Celsius. Um, kind of using what we had as previous calibrated guidance, um, something like this. Pretty good signal, might smooth this out a bit, kind of deferring more towards the coast, kind of looking at the equilibri equilibrium level temperatures that are colder than minus 20 Celsius in the color fill here. Um, let me update this. Still not sure about this stuff. If we do, it probably makes sense to go a little bit farther south. And just a couple last things I want to look at, and we'll type it up. Based on this run over here, kind of extend things just a bit to the northwest. Ever so slightly, where I think they could recover. All right, I'm going to type it up now.